Hi folks, I brought you out today to the north coast of Cornwall. It's the middle of August and it's a lovely Cornish summer's day, as you can see. Thick fog. I was hoping that the sun was going to be out and we'd be able to see, if the sun was out, the north coast. We're right on the on the um, cliffs here. We're at a place called Batalloc and just over there are the crown engine houses which are the engine houses that are right on the edge of the cliff face quite a uh, iconic cornish site but unfortunately you can't see that because the fog's there anyway um what i wanted to show you today was this track always fascinates me because initially when you walk down here you just think cornish hedge on either side of the track but when you look at it more closely the hedges are built in a completely different style on either side. So if we look at this hedge on the left hand side, um, very typical Cornish hedge construction. What you've got is stone on the outside, earth or subsoil in the middle, same on the other side. And what that means is you get for most part of the hedge a very luxuriant growth of vegetation we've got um, grasses flowering plants like this thrift we've got um, ferns like bracken bramble woody plants gorse growing out the top of the hedge very thick and in fact if you look further down the head down the hedge you can't see the stonework at all so just in this little patch here is quite handy because what it means is we can have a look at the uh, the way it's been constructed. I'll just let these folks wander by. <laughs> Hi folks, lovely summer's day. Oh, Fantastic yeah. views. <laughs> <laughs> so the way it's been made, down at the bottom are the largest stones known as the grounders and then coming up the hedge we've got horizontal rows known as courses of the sort of middle sized stone and then the smaller stones on the top and that's quite a typical kind of um, construction style you see this uh, in a lot of areas over Cornwall come over to the other side it might look initially similar but then when you look at it more closely it's actually completely different and the difference here well, what's it got in the middle? Not earth, not that sort of subsoily rab, rab being denatured granite, just stone. And so this has been made from mine waste. Um, I think the um, mines were working at their height about 200 years ago. So this is probably about 200 years old. And uh, another indication of its age is the fact that it's got this luxuriant lichen growth which particularly likes that sort of exposed stone there's not much lichen growing on the other side of the hedge but this oh, sorry on the other side of the track but this hedge is covered in it um, so look at the way it's been put together quite a different construction style much more jumbled much more higgledy-piggledy you can't see clear courses um, having said that it's been very carefully put together. These stones are all absolutely solid. There's no movement. And this has lasted for, yeah, probably 200 years. So put together with, with a lot of skill. Okay, so there we are, folks. Two very different uh, styles of Cornish hedge. You might call this a dry stone wall. It's similar to... Uh, dry stone walls up country but here in Cornwall this is a Cornish hedge as well. Okay I hope that was interesting and I will talk to you again soon. Cheers!